All right, so we've been doing some some studying of of the different uh, materials that are around the blast areas from Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and I believe we found some interesting results. What results exactly um, are we talking about here? I'm I'm a little uncomfortable. We're talking about the nukes that I uh, that I dropped over you guys. Okay, little um, little uncomfortable. Good. We want you to be uncomfortable. You dropped the sun on our cities. To be fair, you hit my boats. I think we have different ideas of what fair is, okay? But I think it's best to get into what I found, okay? So, the bombs over Hiroshima, for example, okay? It was, it was, it was detonated in the air over the ground, okay? Now, <clears throat> what happened immediately after the explosion, okay? But then... In front of, like, the first 10 seconds, it was 6,000 degrees Celsius, okay? I don't know if you guys understand how hot that is. I really don't understand how hot that is. Can you, uh, can you put that in English for me? Yeah, so all of the, like, the materials that go to make up, you know, an, your average building with steel and glass, that shit melted, Okay? And it mixed with the sand and dirt that was knocked up into the air. Eventually, it cooled into these little glass spheres. So you're telling me that the nuclear devices vaporized steel and glass and dirt and everything else in the vicinity and created glass balls that are very small. Okay. All right, so what happened? Okay, this this is actually good information, okay? We we found this information in the worst of possible ways, okay? You had to drop the sun on us, but but we found some useful information uh from this incident and that tells us more about the universe and how our solar system was formed. So you're telling me that we can find out more information about the universe? If I drop more nuclear devices? I don't think that's the takeaway we should be called. We should be walking away with here. 